Hey guys, what's up? How y'all doing? I'm here to give you guys a recap on a new episode of Nanatsu no Taizai Fundo no Shimpan or Dragon's Judgment, which is on episode 23. Now this episode right here, well, <coughs> one more to go and we're done, you know? So if anything else, let's just get this started. The seven deadly sins that were separated from Merlin talk about Merlin herself, you know? Why is she hidden this from us? Why is she betrayed us? Or why is she never really cared much for us in the first place, you know? Eventually, we have to it that down the road, um, they decide to go help out Merlin after all, and we see to it that Kath was trying to break Arthur's spirit, saying that Camelot is destroyed. If you are so not convinced, use the power of chaos to take a look at it yourself. And we see to it that Camelot is destroyed because due to the fact of the battling with the Demon King and all that, you guys get the cue, <coughs> etc. We have to it that, um... That Merlin tries to protect Arthur to the best of her ability, but unfortunately she does not really stand a chance against Kath at all. And we have to that the Seven Deadly Sins show up in the nick of time to help Merlin out. And they told Merlin, as your punishment and the way we're forgiving you, you are to lead Arthur down a good path. You hear me? Knowing that, like, um, you can't, like, um, stop the power of chaos anymore. And Merlin's like, I understand. No problem. Thank you guys so much for your help and your forgiveness kind of sort. And we have to it that Kath tries to tell everyone, you guys just don't get it, right? Everything dies eventually. Kingdoms, allies, groups, all kinds of things. They all just die, man. I don't know what's the point of you guys trying to keep things alive while you can, etc. And Arthur's like, so are you trying to de are you trying to use the power of chaos to destroy everything? And Kath is like, yeah, that's the point. Everything just dies eventually. There's no point of it even existing anymore, that kind of thing. And we have to it that they are still persistent to not want to give up to Kath, even though Kath can like regenerate endlessly, you know? Even Merlin mentions that Kath transcends the, the power of life and death at all times, you know? And we have to it that Kath ends up putting everyone in an illusion, you know? Meliodas was put in a, an illusion where Kath is frozen in time thanks to Merlin's like um, time stopping spell. But unf and then, you know, Meliodas marries Elizabeth, and eventually she dies down the road, you know, and then Meliodas will be all by himself facing Kath alone, you know, and never gives up and fights to the very end. Eventually, Meliodas will later on break through Kath's, Kath's spell, you know, and we have to it that Meliodas is like, was that a future I just saw? And Arthur's like, that's just a part of, that's like one of the possibilities. And we have to it that Arthur has an idea to defeat Kath. And we have to it that Arthur uses his powers of chaos and grabs Kath and decides to decides to devour him, you know, in order to defeat him, and etc. We have to it that Kath, Kath is not allowing this and tries to fight back. But unfortunately, because Arthur has more of the power of chaos within him, he's able to overpower Kath and able to devour him very soon. And we had to have Kath ask Arthur, why do you want to use the power, what are you going to use the power of chaos for? And Arthur's like, I'm going to make an eternal good kingdom, etc. And Kath is like, you're an idiot. That's the, that's just chaos itself. And realizes that he, it was pretty much said something that might be predictable. And Arthur's like, yeah, I am the king of chaos. And I'm going to do whatever it takes to like, um, make things right, you know? And we have to it that Arthur devours Kath and Kath, Kath, and the part of the chaos power that belo that that Kath devoured goes back to Arthur. And we have to it that Meli Otis says, Hey, I'm looking forward to this new kingdom of yours. And then Arthur's like, Oh, I'm sorry. I just ra randomly said things out of the blue. And Ar and Meli, Meli Otis says, Hey, look, you can't go back on your word right now. Okay, so it's all on. It's all up to you now and now to make it right. And we have to it that like... um. Meli Otis tells Arthur, if you get lost or get wrong in in either way, we'll be here to help you out. And we have to, Arthur's like, well, you guys are my eternal goal, so keep that in mind, you know? So until then, people, I'll see you guys in the next video. I'm Alpha Zero. Have a good day, and I'll see you guys next time, alright? Peace out. Bye-bye. Toot-toot-toot!